The 1990s was considered one of the golden era's children's TV making stars out of its army of presenters. While kids today stay glued to their various smart devices, 90s youngsters were transfixed to their tellies. They watched the every move of the likes of Neil Buchanan on Art Attack and Pat Sharp on Sid's Fun House. Throw in a little Anton Deck on Biker Grove and a bit of Bodger and Badger, and the small screen was the place to be for an entire generation of youngs. But while the presenters ruled the airwaves, became household names in the 90s and carved out even more successful careers when their 90s heyday came to an end, some left the industry altogether. We take a walk down memory lane as well as looking at what they're all up to now. Pat Sharp Pat Sharp hosted the hugely popular Funhouse on set between 1989 and 1999 and his mullet became as famous as the Gunge and Gokarts. The star, who was always joined by cheerleaders, twin sisters, Melanie and Martina, made Funhouse one of the UK's most legendary shows that every 90s kid tuned into and wanted to be on. These days, the mullet may be gone after his Norwegian wife of 35 years, Monica, convinced him to cut it off, but Pat is still a regular on TV. He presented Top of the Pops, and was among the lineup on its last program in 2006 and over the past 10 years has also been on shows such as Emma Celeb, Come Dine With Me and Never Mind the Buzzcocks. The 60-year-old who also featured on Michael McIntyre's The Wheel of Fortune and this year, is now a club DJ bagged a gig as a presenter on Greatest Hits Radio. Meanwhile, Melanie and Martina, are still rocking their cheerleading look and can be hired for parties. Neil Buchanan Neil Buchanan, whose famous catchphrase Try It Yourself, would always follow him presenting one of his arty creations on ITV's Art Attack, was also known for his neat goatee and rock star looks. These days has fairly recognizable from his time as a 90s kids TV presenter on the hit show, which aired for almost two decades, 1990 to 2007. The 65-year-old now works mainly behind the camera and rocks out in his metal band, Marseille, who he formed before becoming a TV regular. In 2020, Neil who also fronted TV show Finders Keepers, denied that he was famous mystery street artist, Banksy, after rumors spread online that he was. The statement on his website read, We have been inundated with inquiries over the weekend regarding the current social media story. Unfortunately this website does not have the infrastructure to answer all these inquiries individually, however we can confirm that there is no truth in the rumor whatsoever. Bodger and Badger Children's presenter Andy Cunningham and his puppet co-star Badger starred in the popular BBC Children's series from 1989 to 1999. The pair captured their audience's hearts by getting up to bizarre antics which often contain mashed potatoes. Once the decade-long show ended, they gained cult status amongst viewers who had grown up but still fondly remembered its heyday. In the early 2000s, the show got on the nightclub nostalgia circuit for the mashed potato theme nights. Sadly, Andy died in 2017 at age 67 from cancer. The Chuckle Brothers The hapless Chuckle Brothers delighted youngsters on their BBC show Chuckle Vision. The Rotherham comedy duo, Barry Elliott and Paul Harmon, starred on the 21 series so from 1987 to 2009, with their famous catchphrase, to me, to you, still used today. The pair made a TV comeback on Chuckle Time, which saw the brothers perform comedy sketches and introduce funny online videos from the public. 
considered national treasures, they continued to appear at themed club nights across the country up until Barry died in August, 2018. Paul, however, has continued to perform doing DJ sets, making TV cameos and acting in pantomimes, including one this year's at Cardiff's New Theatre. Katie Hill Katie made her first appearance on Blue Peter in 1995 and stayed on the show for five years, before spending a year on live and kicking. The former TV star's role on Blue Peter, included training with the England football team, living with a family in Mongolia and joining the Cirque du Soleil gymnast troupe. Katie, who was a fan favorite, is now married to fellow live and kicking presenter Trey Farley, who she wed in 2004. The pair live in Los Angeles with their daughter, Kaya, and son, Akira. The star is no longer in the industry and is now a life coach. Andy Peters, Emma Forbes and John Barrowman hit TV show Going Live, ran for eight years from 1993 and had a string of presenters who are still in front of the cameras. Andy is still a competition host on ITV's breakfast shows and Saturday Night Takeaway. He also was a producer of youth TV in the 90s including The Ozone and Top of the Pops. Emma went on to host shows on Radio 2, Capital and Heart and voiced Mummy Hippo on Peppa Pig. While Bear Roman went on to be Captain Jack Harkness in Doctor Who spin-off, Torchwood, and a judge on ITV's Dancing on Ice. After the trio left going live, Zoe Ball and Jamie Theakston took over. Zoe plays the theme tune every day on her BBC Radio 2 breakfast show, and was the regular host of Strictly, It Takes Two. She also fronted the one show when Alex Jones has been off and is seen on Celebrity Gogglebox. She and pal Jamie hosted Live and Kicking until 1999, after which he co-hosted Top of the Pops between 1998 and 2003. He currently co-hosts the National Breakfast Show with Amanda Holden on Heart Radio. And and Deck and and Deck have been TV staples since their 90s show Biker Grove. They hosted SMTV, live from 1998 to 2001 alongside Kat Dealey, who presented the children's entertainment show until it ended in 2003. Since then the duo has been entertaining us with a series of his shows, including Saturday Night Takeaway, Emma Celebrity and Britain's Got Talent. Kat has also had a successful two decades as a TV presenter, both in the UK and stateside, having fronted Fame Academy, Britain's Got the Pop Factor and America's So You Think You Can Dance. While all three have had a successful run, Ant's career was threatened by his drink-driving crash in 2018. The star took a year-long hiatus, which led to him getting treatment for his booze addiction. While there was damage to his reputation by the scandal and a bitter and very public divorce battle between him and wife Lisa Armstrong during that time, he managed to bounce back and is firmly back at his day job, 